Ezekiel 34 verse 26 says this, I will send down showers in season. There will be showers of blessing. This verse comes in this beautiful passage where God is talking about how he um, is drawing his sheep, his people, back to him like a, like a shepherd does with sheep. And the promise here is profound, that, that God will bring good things in season to those whom he loves. I know that uh, in our lives we have seasons that are dry and seasons that are barren and seasons where we don't see that much blessing. And maybe you're going through a season like that at the moment. But if you are, then the promise here is that all seasons change and that some seasons are brought about by God that bring showers of blessing. So much blessing that if you were to stand under it, you would be totally just kind of um, just inundated. You'd be totally just uh, saturated by it like you'd be if you stood in the rain. You know, um, if your season doesn't look like blessing today, then here's a promise to you to take heart, to hold on, as I know that God has promised that seasons will come that bring showers of blessing and they'll come your way. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your promise that seasons change and that some seasons will bring showers of blessing in season for us. Lord, we just ask for that in your timing and in your way that you would bring blessing upon each person that listens today. Lord, if we're sitting in the middle of a season that's a dry spell at the moment, Father, we're sitting amongst a season where we don't see that much blessing, we don't see that much good coming out of where we are, our situation, our circumstance. Pray, Lord, that you would help us to hold on, to hold on and take heart, and know that, that, that seasons last for a while and then they move on, and then you will bring in season at the right time, seasons of blessing, showers of blessing upon us if we just hang on and trust in you. Father, today I just want to pray for the Christian schools in the valley. There's a few of them, and I pray today, God, for all of the teachers. I want to pray for all of the support staff. I want to pray for those communities there, that you would just continue to, to, um, to just train minds, young minds, in the things of you, in a worldview that understands that you are in control. I pray that you would bring blessing upon all the teachers and all the staff. I pray that you would expand their influence in our valley continue to do great things through the Christian schools in our valley. In Jesus' name I pray. 